What's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here jumping in. A little late to the party, but nonetheless, activity continuing out here in the uh, Pacific region. It is um, February 10, 2021, about 11.08 West Coast time here, where we, where we have seen quite a bit of earthquake activity today, rocking and rolling this area around the uh, Loyalty Islands area. Go ahead and check out the uh, maps here from the folks at the USGS, and you guys <laughs> can't see all the action, no doubt. Uh, there was a tsunami statement earlier that has since been completely um, erased, or well, not erased, but uh, inactive. I'll go ahead and show you guys this here real quick. No tsunami warning, advisory, watch, or threat at the moment, but no doubt there was definitely some uh, that was created less than a meter in certain regions uh, but as of right now all activity has been uh, canceled for the tsunami department starting this all off this morning we'll go ahead and go back here and show you guys uh, the four shocks that struck this area uh, you got the new caledonia area fiji up here to the northeast uh, usgs has this southeast of the loyalty islands region quite a bit of movement it all started off with a couple six pointers uh, within uh, an hour of each other including that 5.7 as well before the main shock struck that 7.7 earthquake pretty strong earthquake in this region uh, we haven't seen this uh, high of a magnitude in quite some time there and since then since that 7.7 i tell you what there's definitely been a tremendous amount of earthquake activity with the latest quake a strong 6.1 this has been the, uh, let's see if this is the strongest aftershock so far. Well, we had another prior 6.1 for an aftershock, but many, many fives, sixes, fours, and I'm sure threes and twos, no doubt, that are not listed here on this map. But uh, 6.1 just striking the region there of the Loyalty Islands. Got some deep movement uh, being adjusted there following all this surface quaking there at 10 kilometers. You can see these two deep earthquake movements there at 546 or 545 and 576 there um, making that adjustment in this deep deep earth earthquake area <clears throat> that's super known for uh, uh, some deep quakes and I'm sure that will continue throughout the day as we see more adjustment over here to the uh, to the west there uh, towards the Loyalty Islands area or southeast of the Loyalty Islands where this uh, epicenter region is at course you got Port Villa and whatnot uh, within that vicinity of a couple hundred miles I believe what this has done strongly and I bel and I and it's pretty obvious here on the map as well is a relieve pressure out here along the west coast for now uh, we also seen that same um, same type of scenario when we seen that uh, Japan quake there a few years ago that large one nine pointer struck up there also relieve uh, some tremendous pressure out there along the west coast so uh, that's a good thing for the folks there in the california and the west coast region but uh, for how long who knows we'll see but the main story definitely quite a bit of earthquake activity at the 10 kilometer range in this region looking at the broader scale of things um when was this quake that 5.1 was a little bit i believe that was prior to all this earthquake activity um, including the deep quakes there in Fiji and the four shocks there. Uh, that was at 5.1. that struck well up into the area, a little deep there towards the Indonesia area, up towards Philippines, uh, 114 kilometers. And of course, don't need to show the historical map. This area is known for some large quakes and uh, quite a bit of uh, historic seismic activity. Uh, looks like there was another earthquake there in the mix prior to that 7.7 and 6.2 at the surface at 10 kilometers well to the west into the Indonesia area. But uh, for now, the activity is confined to the most part into this region here uh, with continued earthquake activity in the uh, large range at 6.1. Checking out the activity along the west coast real quick, you can see the majority of the quakes have since died down. We're not seeing as much swarming activity in the Salton Sea region. Of course, uh, last night we've seen that um, swarm kick up pretty quickly, pretty dramatically. Five point uh, or uh, 
51 earthquakes or so within this region over the last 24 hours. We're kind of seeing a migration of swarming up towards the San Andreas Fault System since then, though it has calmed down a little bit here on the west coast. As you can see, not as many earthquakes. Uh, I wish I could find this article, uh, you know, where they mentioned that California has seen a little bit of relief of pressure out here due to that large quake uh, in the Japan area. I think any large movement out here, uh, and from what I've been witnessing here on many, many days of looking at the graphs and and studying these earthquakes, is that any uh, large-scale movement out here along the Pacific Ring of Fire here to the west ultimately relieves pressure out here to the east along the west coast region. And uh, that's something I'm standing by pretty firmly as uh, it seems to uh, seems to have continued today with this large quake there. Um, within the region here where we've been seeing this activity, so good news for the folks, as I mentioned there, along the west coast. We'll see what happens. Um, there was some earthquake activity. We'll get back to the buoy thing here in a minute. There was some movement along the... Uh, Yellowstone area that has since died down. It looks like overnight it's died down uh, tremendously. The buoys are in event mode still from earlier. Some of them are. Some of them aren't. Uh, earlier this was kicking up pretty good. Of course like a, I believe a one meter uh, or so measurement for tsunami at certain areas. Those are, like I said, they're all completely gone at the moment there, so that's a good thing. But expect aftershock activity to continue for quite some time in this region. South, what is this called? The South New Hebrides Trench? I think I pronounced that correctly. Hebrides? Um, yeah, so for now, folks, um, I think uh, West Coast pretty clear uh, unless we see that swarming kick up. But I'm sure with all this movement down here uh, in the south part, uh, we're getting some back lower pressure, as I mentioned there in the deeper, deeper areas. Southwest of Tonga, south of Fiji Islands, deep movement there in the mid 500 range below the surface. <coughs> I'm sure we'll start to see uh, some further increase in activity up here in this region here. So uh, potentially we could see a couple more sixes in this area. I don't believe we're going to see anything stronger, but uh, you never know. There's always that heightened chance there of a stronger quake than the main quake uh, within that uh, 12, 24 hour period. So uh, we'll be on guard. Anyway, folks, we'll be back a little bit later on this evening. I just wanted to touch uh, base there a little bit with uh, earthquake activity out there in the uh, in the Fiji area, close to the Fiji area and areas to the south and west there. Have a good day folks. We'll be back a little bit later. I got quite a few things I gotta do today so I will be off and on here. Peace out.